Hey guys, we are back and the conditions are perfect tonight. It's super clear and everything, not that you can see that, but uh, also the temperature has come down significantly. We're gonna be just dipping under 50 for a little bit during the night. And that is excellent for two reasons. One, it prevents the bugs from getting all over you. The mosquitoes have been really bad at my normal shooting spot. But for the second reason, it actually reduces the noise on your camera. This noise is directly proportional to the temperature of the sensor. So we're gonna be getting out there and shooting Andromeda. All right, we are out on site and it is as dark as ever. I can see the Milky Way above me and I can actually see Andromeda looking at it just barely. We're on target right now shooting. The uh, 20 second stills that I'm using look like this right here. You can see the core of Andromeda but you can't really see much other than that in real time. You have to stack it up in order to get more detail for that. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take a bunch of pictures and then we're gonna stack them all together and post. Yeah, Andromeda was actually the first DSO that I ever took a picture of. That was from my balcony from all the light pollution and everything. Went awry. Didn't really know how to operate the telescope very well either. And this is sort of what I got from it. So there's a bunch of vignette, uh, vignetting issues, uh, as you can see, but our after image for, or our stacked image for this result now should be, should be much better. All right, so we've got all of our frames loaded in, our lights, our darks, our biases. Didn't take any flats, probably should more, but uh, we have 55 minutes of aggregate exposure time. We have our histogram down here, which I've already pre-edited a little bit in order to get us to our final image. And this is what we've got. So you can see all the bands of dust around the core for Andromeda. You can see the, the little blue ring sort of around the very edges. And overall, this just looks really nice. Uh, you generally would probably want more time. 55 minutes is kind of short compared to what I normally do for some of the other DSOs. But Andromeda is generally pretty pretty bright so I knew I could get away with a little bit less. While I was out shooting Andromeda I also went ahead and got a picture of the Heart Nebula which is a pretty big emission nebula uh, in the same region of the sky as Andromeda. It's next to the Cassiopeia constellation and this is a pretty heavy hydrogen alpha emission nebula and the it's it's pretty faint in this image we only have uh, at about another hour of aggregate time on here but you can see the little shape of the heart, how you have the different lobes in the core in the center right there. So that was also one that I had been trying to image for quite a while, but had only just gotten around to doing so. That, uh, I'm also pretty happy with that right now. Thanks for watching, guys. If anybody has any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments below, and stay tuned for more astrophotography content.